Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Hello, Ted. Parcel for you. Menu so Thanks, Pat. So, have you finished the plans for the children's playground, then? I'm afraid not, Ted. And I wanted to bring something really special to the meeting tonight. Trouble is, everyone's giving me different ideas. Oh, you'll see what you mean. And we can't start building till we know what we're making. Don't worry. I'll think of something. Bye, Ted. Right you are, Pat. Bye. <laughs> So, who can tell me what this is? A dinosaur. a dinosaur, Mr Pringle. A Diplodocus. That's right. And what do you know about dinosaurs? They've got big feet and big teeth. And big drooling mouths. And they lay eggs. <laughs> dinosaurs lived a long time ago, but now all that's left of them are old bones and fossils. What's a fossil, Mr Pringle? Fossils are what's left of animals and plants buried for so long that the ground has turned to stone around them. I found all these in the village. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, did you find any dinosaur bones? <laughs> well, no. But there were once dinosaurs walking the fields of Greendale. Wow! Dinosaurs in Greendale? <laughs> Keep a lookout for fossils while you're out playing. It's amazing what you find if you keep your eyes open. No, that won't work. Why don't we why don't we go on a fossil hunt? Yeah, maybe we'll find real dinosaur bones. Yeah, I love dinosaurs. Rah, rah. Hmm. Dinosaurs. Let's meet at my house tomorrow morning. Bye! Yes, that would work. Hmm. Yes, Ted will be pleased. Hey, Dad, we're going on a dinosaur hunt. Dad! Oh, uh, sorry, Julian. Yes, let's get you home. Come on, then, Pat. Show us what you've done. By heck, a climbing frame in the shape of a dinosaur. <laughs> That's genius, that is. We'll need somewhere to put it all together, though. Alf says we can use his barn. If we all get cracking first thing, we can have it finished by tomorrow night. Have you got any rope, Ted? Hmm, not enough to make that. I believe we have some old bell ropes in the church tower. We could use those. Maybe you'd like to help me, my dear. Good thinking, Reverend. And Alf's got an old slide he said we can use. So, everyone who agrees on the design say aye. 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 Wow. And remember, not a word to the children. It'll be a real surprise. Don't forget your drawing, Pat. Oh, yes. Thanks, love. 
Ready for your fossil hunt, children? Yes, thank you, Mrs Clifton. <laughs> Mind you don't meet any dinosaurs. Where shall we start? Let's try the field by the station first. Now, mm, round this way a bit for the head, I reckon. Hey, oh, Pat. Thought I'd have a bit of a practice. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Ted. I've got the drawing here to copy from. That's the slide. Here's the rope climbing frame. And here's the shape for the dinosaur. Right, oh. You draw it on, and I'll do the cutting. Well done, Ted. Let's get them onto your truck. Nay, Pat. Me truck's bust. We'll have to use your van. What about these? Fossils? Wow! Look! Lucy's found one! That's great. I wish we could find a dinosaur bird, though. Oh, it's no use, Ted. They won't fit. We'll have to carry them to Alf's. Uh, all right, Pat. At least it's not far. <sighs> Come on, Jess. <sighs> Hail, Pat. It's the children. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Quick, Ted. This way. Mm. <sighs> But no bits of dinosaur yet. Look, what's this? A picture of a dinosaur. It's a bit like a stegosaurus, but only fatter. And that looks like a cage and a net. What does it mean? Maybe someone else is looking for dinosaurs. Oh! oh. <sighs> Not far now. Here is the glue and the tiles you asked for, Pat. Thanks, Ajay. Those are just the thing for dinosaur teeth. Can you bring them to Thompson Ground, Ajay? We've got our hands a bit full. Oh, I'm sorry, Ted. I promised Nisha I'll look after Gaff. Not to worry. We can stick them on here. Come on, Ted. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all put together. Look lively then, Pat. Righto. We don't want the children seeing anything before it's finished. OK. Up she goes. There. All finished. Excellent. Let's take it over to Thompson Ground. Pat and Ted should be ready for us by now. Ah, hello, children. Hello, Reverend. We're looking for dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, eh? Good thing we've got a net, then. Shh! Come along, Reverend. That's funny. You were right, Mira. The grown-ups are hunting a dinosaur. <gasps> hey, what's this? It looks like a tooth. A big tooth. Ugh. Ugh, it's sticky. Almost like drool. Drool? <gasps> dinosaur drool. But how can you have dinosaur drool? There aren't any live dinosaurs. <gasps> Look! Wow! A real live dinosaur! <gasps> but but there aren't any.
many dinosaurs in Greendale now. My dad said so. <gasps> We're all ready for you, Pat. <sighs> right, let's get to work. That's grand. We'd better cover it up in case the children see it. Good idea, Pat. The dinosaur's vanished. OK, everyone, come on. Ready, everyone? Aye. 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 Tricky business dinosaur transportation. I'd better check the regulations. I don't know about regulations. We'd be lucky to transport it at all. It's that heavy. Somewhere. What's that? Look! It's coming this way. Away. <laughs> One dinosaur, uh, present and correct. Ooh, come on, let's go and tell everyone it's ready. Hey, I can't wait to see the children's faces. <coughs> for our surprise. <laughs> you can't keep much a secret for long round here. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> a real Greendale dinosaur, just for us. <laughs> Whee! Yes, your very own greendale -asaurus. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just. 
just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red friend All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be not Ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat And his black and white cat Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. A lot of mail today, Pat. Yes, the sorting machine at Pencaster broke down. This is a whole week's worth of Greendale mail. You never get this lot sorted today, let alone delivered. Tell you what, Pat, I'll bring me old sorting machine round if you like. Oh, would you, Ted? No problem. I might make it yet, Ajay. Nay, Pat, if you can deliver all that today, I'll dress up in my pyjamas and I'll run round the village. Tell you what, bet you I can deliver it all and be back here by tea time tonight. But if you don't make it, you've got to run round the village in your pyjamas. That sounds like a challenge. <coughs> right then, Jess, we'd best get a move on. Make sure your pyjamas are clean. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a... Oh! Sorry, Charlie. That's OK. We're doing really well, then. Let's stand a bit closer and see if we can do four. OK, Julian. See if you can beat 20 keepsy-upsies. Uh, One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, five. Uh, uh, oh! Don't worry, Julian. Not everyone can be as good as me. What do you mean? I can't help being good. Yeah, but you can help being big-headed. Why, hey, lads, what's going on here? We're playing Keepy Upsy, sir, and I'm trying to break Bill's record. But he can't, cos I'm too good. Now, now, Bill. You never know. Julian might just beat you one day. Never happened, Julian Clifton. We'll see, Bill Thompson. Oh, just look at all this mail. Are you sure your sorting machine can handle it, Ted? Don't you worry, Mrs Goggins. My machine will have all this done in a jiffy. Oh, I hope so, Ted. Greendale's never gone a week without post before. You've got your work cut out with this lot, Pat. Yes. Actually, Ajay's challenged me to deliver it all by tea time, or... Or what, Pat? I've got to run round the village in my pyjamas. <gasps> Pet. Ho, ho, ho. We'd better get started then. There you are. First lot done already. Come on. There. All done. Thanks, Ted. You might not have to run around in your pyjamas after all, Pat. <laughs> Never fear, Mrs Goggins. I'm going to set a new record today for the most post I've ever delivered. Now, our next lesson is maths. Oh. <gasps> Boring! Aye, but this is going to be a special maths lesson. Oh, I was noticing how some of you are counting your catches and your kippy upsies in the yard at playtime. And I thought it'd be fun to have a record breaking day today. What's, What's that breaking? We'll count how many times each of you can do an activity, and the one who does the most will be the record holder. 
Are you being like me, sir? I'm the keeps you up his record holder, sir. That's right, Bill. But if someone else does more than you, they'll break your record. That's going to be me. No, it's not. You'll never beat me. Right. Keepy upsies can be one of the activities. What else? Throwing bean bags. So, so, Mr. Pringle. Mr. Pringle, Mr. Pringle. What about balancing books on our heads, sir? Good. Anything else? What about skipping, sir? And skipping. Thank you, Mira. Right then. Let's get you into groups and I'll hand out paper and pencils to help you keep count. Hooray! Are you all right, Pat? Yes, thanks, Doctor. It's taken all morning to sort and load the mail and I've only got until tea time to deliver it. Oh, well, I'm sure if anyone can do it, you can, Pat. Good luck. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. How are they doing, Bill? They got nine that time, sir. You we go, Bill. Hey, watch this, Julian. I'll do three at once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> post. I'm going to get the post. <laughs> What's going on, Bill? We're having a record-breaking day. We're setting records and trying to break them. That sounds like fun. I suppose I'm being a record-breaker too. I've got loads of mail to deliver today. Cool. Good luck, Pat. And you, Bill. Bye. See ya. Come on, Jess. We haven't got a minute to lose. Hmm. It'll take too long to go up and down each garden path. There's only one thing for it. Well, that saved me some time. Come on, Jess, we can't hang around. Yeah, well, it's not hard. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> uh, nice one, Bill. At least I got the record. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Oh. oh! You've done it! You broke my record! Well done, everyone. Now it's time for the last activity of the day. Keepy upsy. <laughs> Sorry, Dorothy. I've got to get the mail delivered by tea time or I'll have to wear my pyjamas. Oh. Did he say something about pyjamas? Hey, Jess, we're doing well. Yeah. I think we might be finished by tea time after all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Never mind, Mira. Who's next? Wow. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. That 
that's it, Jess. I'll just drop the post bag back at the post office before we go and see Ajay. <laughs> I can't wait to see his face. <coughs> just Julian and Bill left now. Who wants to go first? Me! Me! All right, Bill. Off you go. Watch a master at work. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. What's wrong, Julian? I really want to set a record at Keepy Upsy. But Bill's so good and he's been teasing me all day. But you might beat his record. I don't think so. Look! 27, 28, 29, 30! Record breaker, yeah! Well done, Bill. Your turn now, Julian. You can do it. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. You've really upset Julian, you know. Why? Because you kept on teasing him. I didn't mean to upset him, though. I was just having fun, that's all. Bill, Bill, uh, Julian's nearly beaten your record. Hey, 27, 28, Well done, Julian. You broke Bill's record. Hooray! Well done, Julian. Um... I'm sorry I teased you today. Thanks, Bill. That's OK. Oh, well done, Pat. I wouldn't have thought it possible. Oh, all in a day's work, Mrs Goggins. Oh, no. I forgot one letter. And it's for Ajay. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Dad! Dad! We had a record-breaking day today. And I broke the skipping record. And I broke the keepy upsy record. Record breakers, eh? Well done, both of you. I think your dad's been trying to break a record today as well, Julian. What do you mean? I challenged him to deliver all the mail and be back here before tea time. Or he's got to run around Greendale in his pyjamas. <laughs> and it's nearly tea time now. Hello, everyone. Hey. Here he is! He's made it! Not yet. Look, he's still got one letter left. Dad! Dad, quick! What do you think, Jess? Meow. Time for tea! You made it, Dad! You know what this means, love? <laughs> yes, Dad! <laughs> Right, here I come. No laughing now. Me? <gasps> oh. I should have known better than to challenge a record breaking postman. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. 
postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man. Do you think I'd make a good rock star, Jess? <laughs> no, me neither. What on earth's that noise, Jess? <laughs> Julian! Charlie! Why are you making such a racket? Sorry, Dad. Me and Charlie are starting our own band. You see, we, we've written our own song and we need to practice it. But my drums are at the school hall, so I'm practicing with these instead. Look! La, 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 la. La, la, ha, 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 ha. Oh! Oh, we sound terrible. Yeah. Hmm. What we need is a proper singer. Why don't you look for a singer here in Greendale? That's a great idea. Will you help us find someone, Dad? Yeah, you could be our, our manager, Mr Clifton. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. I'll tell everyone on my rounds and we could audition them later if you like. Brilliant. Speaking of my rounds, I'd best be going. Cheerio, boys. Bye, Bye Mr Dad. Clifton. <laughs> Looks like Jess wants to be in our band too. <laughs> come on then, Jess. You can come to the school hall with us to practice. Uh, oh, morning, Ted. Morning, Pat. Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. Good morning, Pat. My word, you're in fine voice today. Ah, uh, but not fine enough. Eh? Julian and Charlie are looking for a singer for their band, and I'm helping them find someone. Well, if it's a singer they're after... We'll be auditioning everyone at the school hall later. I'd best be off then. Uh, lots to do. Cheerio! Bye, Ted. I was quite the wee star in my day, you know, Pat. <laughs> la la dee 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 la 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 So, what do you think, Pat? Am I good enough for the band? Oh, um. You're very energetic, Mrs Goggins, but I don't think it's quite what Julian and Charlie are looking for. Oh, well, never mind. But it would be great if you could come along later and help with the auditions. Oh, yes, that sounds like fun. <laughs> and I'll make sure everyone knows about it. That sounded pretty good. Let's give it a try. Well, I never. Sounds like I've found my singer already. Hello, Pat. Uh, oh, hello, Arthur. That, that singing voice, it's just what I'm looking for. Oh, that'll be Lucy. She's always singing around the house. Voice like an angel. Lucy! Yes, Dad. Oh, hello, Pat. Hello, Lucy. My, you've got a beautiful voice there. Julian and Charlie are auditioning for their band later. Why don't you come along? Oh, no. I couldn't sing in front of anyone. But you're so good. No, N no, I couldn't. What a shame. Dear. That didn't sound right at all. 
Where's that funny noise coming from? Oh no, it's my synthesizer. Something's wrong, listen. Hold on a minute. That meow sounds familiar. Jess! Wow. Phew, it's only Jess. He's meowing into the microphone. <laughs> Silly Jess! Hmm. Jess is a good singer for a cat. Hello there, Alf. Hello, Pat. Would you like to come along and audition for Julian and Charlie's band? <laughs> I can sing for you now if you like. <laughs> Steady there, Daisy. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to give this singing like a miss. Me sheep are too excitable. Oh, dear. Well, never mind. Cheerio, Alf. Bye. Cheerio. No, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Do, do, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Oh, dear. No, re, mi, it sounds like finding a singer is going to be more difficult than I thought. Do, do, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Charlie and Julian have started their own band. Really? Oh, I'd love to be in a band. Well, maybe you can be. They're looking for a singer and you'd be perfect. Wow. I've always wanted to be a pop star, but I can't sing very well. la ti da 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 la 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 Maybe you just need a bit of practice. Try this. La 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 Wow! I didn't know you could sing like that, Mira. You should audition for Julian and Charlie's band. They're at the school hall this afternoon. I'll meet you there. Bye! Shh! Maybe you can audition after all. How? I don't want to sing in front of everyone, but if you pretend to, I could sing for you. But everyone would know. Not if I hid behind the curtain, they wouldn't. Wow! <gasps> Thanks, Lucy. Maybe I can be a pop star after all. But are you sure you don't want to audition? <gasps> no way! Well done, boys. That sounds fantastic. We've done it, Charlie. We've got our very own song. OK, boys. Are you ready to start auditioning for your singer? Yeah! Hello, everyone. Welcome to the audition. Oh, <laughs> looks like we've got a busy afternoon ahead of us. OK, everyone. Here's a copy of Charlie and Julian... <clears throat> I mean, the band song. We'd like everyone to have a try at it. Well, would anyone like to start us off? I will. If you want somebody to make you feel happy, come on, let me take you to a place where everybody can dance with somebody It's easy, can't you see? Um, thank you, Ted. Uh, that's enough to be going on with for now. Uh, eh? Eh? Oh, oh. oh all right. Next, please. If you want somebody to make you Feel happy, come on, let me take you To a place where everybody It's easy, can't you see? Come on, join with me! Clap your hands! Everybody turn around! No, no, that's oh, my line! No, 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 that's my line! No, no, you were going to 
magical bit no, on the other one. Like, no, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm sorry. Girls, maybe you can decide who's singing what and try again later. Yeah, OK, Pat. Then we can both sing that bit together. Who'd like to go next? <clears throat> I don't know, but it didn't sound much like our song. Well, what do you think? That was, um, that was great, Bill, but it's not quite what we're looking for. OK. This is hopeless. Yeah, I know what you mean. If you want somebody to make you feel happy, Take you to a oh. place where everybody oh, yeah, she's good. can dance with somebody. Ooh, that it's voice sounds familiar. Come on, join with me. Clap your hands. <sighs> Lucy, of course. Everyone's staring at me. What should I do? Sing! I can't. Yes, you can. It should have been you standing here instead of me in the first place. But... Come on, Lucy. You're amazing. See? Oh, I don't think I can. Yes, you can, Lucy. That sounds fantastic. Really? Oh, OK. If you want somebody to make you feel happy, come and let me take you to a place where everybody can dance with somebody. It's easy, can't you see? Come on, join with me. Well, boys, I think you've found your singer. Everybody turn around. Welcome to the band, Lucy. Stamp your feet. Jump up, jump down, you can do it! Postman, postman Pat, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Yeah. Postman Pat, postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat Early in the morning Just as day is dawning He picks up all the post bags in his van Postman Pat, Postman Pat Postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are singing And the day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red friend. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocked. Ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Thanks, 
Mrs Goggins. See you later. Whew. Come on, Jess. I reckon it's going to be another hot day. I'm bored. You can help me wash the Greendale rocket if you like. No, thanks. Meow. Morning, Nisha. Morning, Ajay. Hi, Pat. Can't stop, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. Someone looks fed up. Mira's bored, Pat. She says she's got nothing to do. Julian's just the same. Never mind, Mira. I've got something to cheer you up. A postcard! Uh, for me? That's torn it. It's from Cousin Sanjay. Ah, he's at the seaside. Look at that bat. Sun, sand. Can we go to the seaside, Mum? What? You and Dad have been working hard all summer and I've got nothing to do. Let's go to the seaside. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Problem, Ted? You could say that, Arthur. Well, that sand can't stay there, Ted. It makes the place look untidy. I know. Question is, how are we going to move it? I'm sorry, Mira. The seaside's too far to go for just one day. Oh! Never mind, Mira. I'm sure you'll find something else to do. Come on, Jess. Let's get back to work. Meow. <coughs> Bye, Nisha. Bye, Pat. Cheerio. What's this? A sad face on a sunny day? That's not allowed. Mira wants to go to the seaside, but I've explained that it's too far. Who needs the seaside? There are lots of lovely places to visit around Greendale. How about a family picnic instead? Oh, Mira. I wish there was something we could do to help. Hello, what's going on here? Problem, Ted? Hi, Pat. We're trying to move this sun. Only Pat. Yeah. <laughs> You'll not move much sand like that, Arthur. What else can we do? Good idea, Jess. Hurry up, love. Coming, Ajay. Green Rabbit wanted to come on the picnic too. <laughs> right then, let's go. That's it. Fill them up. We'll have that sand shifted in no time. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that, Pat. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Reverend can help us. <laughs> Are we nearly there yet, Dad? Come on, Ajay. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Come on. Thanks, Reverend. You know me, Pat. Ask and ye shall receive. I say, you've forgotten the shovel. Pat! Here we are. Thompson Ground. The perfect place for a family picnic. Oh, it's lovely, Ajay. What's that noise? I can't hear anything. No, me. It's getting louder. Hello there. <gasps> <gasps> That's the lot. 
Ready, Ted? Ready as I'll ever be. Careful now, Pat. I can't bear to watch. Nearly there. Oh. No. Now what? Listen. That's Dr. Gilbertson vacuuming the surgery. That's it. But she's a very clean woman, is Dr. Gilbertson. I'm sorry I gave you a fright, but I'm afraid you can't have your picnic here. Didn't you see the beehives? We're building a proper stand for them when Ted Glenn gets here with the sand. Why don't you go up to Greendale Farm instead? That's a lovely spot for a picnic. What do you think, everybody? Greendale Farm? This vacuum cleaner should do it. We'll use it to suck up all the sand and then blow it back into the truck. Good idea, Pat. Are you sure it'll work? Of course it'll work. Dr Gilbertson says it's a bit temperamental, but it should do the job. Just watch. Hi, Dad. Hello. What are you two doing here? I'm just taking Julian round to play at Charlie's. It's boring at home. Not another one who's bored. Lucy's been driving me up the wall all day. Mira's the same. She was desperate to go to the seaside this morning. If only there was something they could all do together. Maybe there is, Mum. Come on. Uh, Julian! Right then, everybody. Back to work. At last. Oh, I thought we'd never make it. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but all that walking's made me more hungry. Uh, Dad? Hi. Look behind you, Ajay, and to the sides. That's right, Charlie. I'll see you there. Oh, and don't forget to bring a bucket and spade. Oh, and tell Tom and Katie as well. What's going on, Julian? I'll tell you later, Mum. Lucy, hi, it's Julian. Go, you sheep. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go away. Dad! Don't worry, Mera. Everything's under control. Shoo, shoo. Go away, I say. Oh, bow to you too. Are you all right, Dad? Of course. I'm absolutely fine. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, it's no good, Ajay. I can't eat with all these sheep looking at me. We'll have to go somewhere else. Well, it certainly seems to be doing the job, Pat. What? I said it certainly seems to be doing the job. What? He said... <coughs> Looks like we're going to have to use my helmet after all. At least there's no sheep. Let's just hope nothing else goes wrong, hmm? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Are you okay, Dad? If somebody could just help me with this. Dad! Oh, oh. The backpack! Oh dear. A picnic! Never mind, Pat. 
These things are sent to try us. Yes, and some of them try us more than others. Hello, what's going on here? Julian? I've brought some friends to play, Dad. Come on, everyone, dig in! <laughs> <laughs> Julian! Hooray! Hooray! Yeah! I'm sorry, Mira. Our day hasn't turned out too well, has it? The picnic's ruined, I'm afraid. Is there anything you'd like to do instead, love? No, thanks, Dad. Let's just go home. <sighs> <laughs> this is loads better than being stuck indoors. It's like being at the seaside. Mira wanted to go to the seaside today. Meow. I've got an idea. Meow. <sighs> Not far now, Nisha. <sighs> This must be the most tiring day out ever. Listen! Oh, whatever's that? Something's happening in Greendale! Come on! Wow! They're here, everyone. The guests of honour have arrived. Oh! Yay! 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 Well, what do you think of Greendale on Sea? It's wonderful, Pat, but this isn't all for us, is it? Why not? You wanted to go to the seaside, didn't you? Yes. Well, if the Baines can't go to the seaside, the seaside must come to the Baines. And Dorothy and I have decided the children can keep the sand. So I'm going to build them a proper sand pit. So we'll never be bored again. Oh, look out! Watch out! That's me helmet. Come on! Thanks, Pa! This is the best day out ever! Yeah. 